in vfx as for my perspective there are two things are very important one is your tracking and another is your lighting okay when this both two things are properly that's look decent when you deal with a vfx shot okay so in our case uh, for this tutorial my main focus is on how to find light direction for a vfx shot so here i have this shot okay i am here put this tripod as for my lighting reference and as you see i already take some track points okay here i mentioned very clearly that i take one track point over here as well as over here okay so this is my shadow and this is the source of this particular shadow this one okay so now i do solve this camera so for that i'm take camera solver so yeah track these things solve these things I extend my solution refine all extend refine all extend refine all Okay, so I get a good camera solving because my camera mode is not so complicated. So I'm easily getting the solution. Now next step is I orient this scene. So for that, here is very easy way. I just select some salt track point on ground. I here set this as exact plane. I select one point over here set is as, as origin and I align the thing with my scene okay so that's it for my tracking software so I track this footage properly then I have to export the thing for any 3d application so here we use Maya as my 3d application so here I just set this format to Autodesk Maya and whenever you want to export just define that path and export the scene okay so I close my PF track and now we move on to Maya so here I already open this file So now how you get the light direction of this scene so as I mentioned in tracking we track the shadow and source of this shadow okay so I just increase this both locator okay so now what I have to do to find the light direction here the light is sunlight so for that I am using directional light now I move these things now see this is very simple but effective step of this tutorial okay so what I have to do I just snap by pressing V this light onto this locator okay now I press T to activate the target of this light and I snap this target to my shadow area that's it so what I'm doing 
I just snap my light to the source of the shadow and target to this shadow area. Okay. Now see. For example, this is my original plate. So I keep this image as my reference and here I already create one setup. A simple setup that here is one cylinder, see the cylinder and one ground. Now apply use background to this material and reflectivity zero and I render this in. Okay, so you see that the original shadow and my CG shadow match properly so that's mean my light direction is properly matched so see this is the very easiest way to get light direction very properly okay so here I already set up my scene okay so here I have some robots and all these things I have panoramic image uh, that's light direction light one ambient light and all these things some reflective materials I already clean this plate and I put on camera projection technique and I set my ground properly and all these things okay and I add some render passes over here for example diffuse diffuse material but the major thing is this uh, shadow so we always use row shadow okay, and other pass for example here I use final gather on so that's why I'm using indirect pass I use one ambient light so for that I use ambient pass obviously diffuse pass we need some directional uh, the direct Indians pass reflection reflection and all these things okay so I'm not using uh, too much complicated passes so in this for, uh, for this example okay uh, now we need some IDs for that so for Robert I put some green color for ball for basketball I am using red color and for ground I use black color uh, sorry blue color and also we render occlusion okay so now let's move into new so here I have those passes this is my background plate this is my master layer with all this character ID pass and occlusion pass so first and here my main concern is to how to compose your shadow and how to match the color of this shadow okay so but we need some treatment to this footage so here I have master layer in that we render all other passes so here I use shuffle node to extract those passes so here I use diffuse material color as my base pass okay and I also set white color for my alpha okay so here I rename this thing as diffuse okay now I need this red and green color to extract my character and ball from my background so for that I use expression node in expression node I just set R plus Z minus B I select these things copy paste 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 okay so I get this red and green the combination of red and green as my mat now I have to compose these things with my background so this has my background this has my foreground and this as my mask so now you see you get proper 
character on my bg okay now again i use shuffle node to extract my row shadow let's so rename this as row shadow now i invert this things so invert this and compose this with my this merge one and i apply multiply as my blending mode so here i got this things but now still the shadow of this scene and the cg shadow is not properly match so for that i use one grid node as well as for merge one i just reduce the opacity and in grid node you go to black point here click on this color wheel and here you adjust this to through this temperature control okay so this is your cool and warm color and all these things so here i adjust the thing and match your shadow in very easy way okay i work on this opacity okay so here we match the shadow now this basic compositing funda i extract my ambient light merge background foreground plus as my blending mode this as my matte again one shuffle node indirect light merge background foreground blending mode plus this as my matte so indirect again i use one more shuffle node extract reflection pass merge plus okay before that for example if you want to add occlusion pass over here so here i select this occlusion pass i merge these things over here apply these things apply multiply as my blending mode okay but see okay so this area is little bit dark and it has black color okay so we have to match with the shadow area so what i'm doing i just select this grid node that we use to compose to color correction our shadow and i press alt k to clone this grid and apply that grid node over here so now you match your occlusion over here now you extract one shuffle i use specular pass apply some blur and some grid node and merge this things over here okay so this is the basic workflow to compose mainly the shadow with your 
बीजी प्लेट ओके एंड देन यू अप्लाई सम कलर करेक्शन एंड ऑल दिस थिंग टू मैच सम लाइट रैप एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओवर हियर ओके सो होप यू लाइक दिस ट्यूटोरियल एंड दिस इज द वे यू कैन गेट योर लाइट डायरेक्शन एज वेल एज हाउ टू मैच योर शेडो इन कंपोजिटिंग